Is there a chicken in here? There's a chicken in here. Can you believe that? There's a chicken in the trader. What has the world come to? We have chicken on the menu for dinner again, boys and girls. All right, guys, welcome back to 70s to Diamond Old Guy Gaming, and this is Alpha 19 uh, Build 180 and or Stable Branch 10, something like that. <laughs> and so anyway, we're going to uh, continue our adventure here uh, in the apocalypse. So uh, I spent a little bit of time off camera, uh, kind of cleared some stuff out of the uh, living room here. I went down and stuck the uh, land claim block right down in that corner. It would fit there. Uh, emptied out all the loot that we had left down here the night before. Had a few zombies come in uh, at nighttime, and I just, you know, kind of killed them through this little gap there. There was like three ferals that came in. Um, killed a couple more zombies uh, in the morning. Went outside, cut some wood, and um, I found, actually found in the backyard a, uh, like a triple coal mine deposit. And, uh, and, and then there's also some iron next to it, too. There we go. So, um, we're probably going to start our first mine there. I was going to mine out here, but that's got a lot of coal, and we're going to need coal, of course. And so, uh, we'll start that. Uh, we're going to go over to Trader Joel's today and sell some stuff. We actually have a decent amount of money, considering this is only day two in the game. And so, we're going to deal with that. And is he dead? No, you're not dead yet. Give me my spear back. Um, and then um, kind of see where we're where we're gonna go from there. We need to we need to go do our quest, so we'll probably do that a little bit later on after we're done with Trader Joel. So <clears throat> I'm thinking, you know, I'm trying to think about what I want to do with this house. We might I, I've never really done any kind of a serious uh, what you might call house flipper. Um, episode in the game. I've, I've I've done House Flipper, you know, in the past, but I don't know that I've really done a whole lot of that on camera, so I'm thinking maybe what we'll do is we'll really fix this place up and make it look really nice uh, as we go along. Um, maybe. Uh, or we might move somewhere else. I don't know. <laughs> the nice thing about this place, of course, is it's right next to the trader, and it doesn't get much more convenient than that. I noticed, too, this morning that, look, we actually have a, a little potato patch right out in front of the house. Um, so... We'll pick those later. Um, right now, I just want to plant a couple of the seeds that we got from the, you know, the trees that I cut down. Let's maybe do that out here so they're not real close to the house. I might eventually plant some trees, you know, closer to the house just for, you know, some landscaping. But for now, I'm just going to plant all of these out here. Um, and then we'll just harvest them, you know, as we need more wood. Not really too terribly worried about... How neat they look. We're just going to put them down and cut them down again later. Okay. So that's good. Let's go back in the house for a second and make sure that I have everything that I need to uh, go visit Trader Joel. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I left the door open. That like That's like a no-no. Should not have done that. Okay. So inside the stove, we've got um, all of the food items that we currently have. I did find a jar of honey in a stump, which is good in case we get... Um, infected later on, which we inevitably will. I uh, got the rest of my stuff up there and in here. Nothing is nothing is um, organized at the moment, but it will be later. We do have four uh, iron pipes. I want to make four more of those in the forge um, so that we can build ourselves two blunder buses. Uh, and because I took that first point into um, shotgun shotgun skill, we can make an orange one. So we, we're going to have to come across four glue, and then the wood's, of course, not a problem. I do have uh, 59 bones, so we're doing good on bones. I just need to get some murky water. And we have 13 jars plus two more. Uh, make that three more uh, waters. Okay, so all of this stuff's going to go to the forge. We're going to sell uh, a lot of this stuff. And we, we, we actually, I looted, we don't need that. I looted 437 cash yesterday, and it didn't really dawn on me at the time that, hey, that's 
a pretty decent chunk of change. Um, and we, we want to make more blunderbuss ammo too. So I, we looted 26 gunpowder. We got some stones. And I've got um, in here, I believe, paper. In fact, we could just do that right now. So let's just start crafting that in our inventory. And uh, that'll give us a little bit more blunderbuss ammo. We'll put the paper back here for now that used up all the gunpowder. And we'll have to, you know, make some gunpowder too. Now, I'm not going to make any more stone arrows because one of the first things we're going to make in the Trader's Forge is we're going to make some iron arrowheads. But I need some clay. So I think what I am going to do, guys, is I'm going to cut the camera here for a little bit and just go dig up some clays because we're going to need clay into the uh, feed clay rather into the forge along with the iron in order to start making the arrowheads. Uh, we also want to make a cooking pot in the forge too. Um, that's actually priority number one and then after that we'll do the arrowheads. Okay so I just got to figure out where I'm going to dig. I want to I don't want to dig right next to the house. Um, maybe what we could do is dig near our soon-to-be mine in the back here and uh, I'll show you too what I'm talking about there's like three there's a there's a lead node here of course that might be yeah that's right on the edge of no it, it well it still is on the edge of the trader but then there's also lead here and I've got one two three coals and an iron and another iron so <laughs> this whole area back here we're probably just gonna end up doing a big ass strip mine um, because there's just so many nodes next to each other and I'll inevitably, you know, collapse the ground around it anyway. Um, and I'm going to pick a few chrysanthemums too, just so we can make some red tea. So guys, I will bring back in a little bit after I dig up um, some clay around this area and uh, maybe pick some chrysanthemums and then we'll go visit Trader Joel. And after that, the plan will be to head towards our first quest. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, we are back. Had a zombie chasing me, but he got hung up. In the garage there <clears throat> um i made a an orange sledgehammer too because we did take that first point in uh uh whatever the hell this the sledgehammer skill is skull crusher <laughs> i couldn't think of it and i had a point and i put that point into uh archery okay so that's where we're at with that uh so we got 327 clay 261 iron that's enough to get us started and get a little little decent batch of um uh, iron arrows and a cooking pot going so I think we're ready to go head over to the trader cut a couple more trees down too so we have a couple more seeds to to plant as well just making sure it's clear out here oh dar darn it I was gonna I forgot to do the chrysanthemums I was gonna do it and then I got chased by that zeker so we'll have to do that later too nope not that this not that this Okay, <clears throat> let's head on over to Trader Joel. We never really looked at his inventory yesterday either. So we shall do that. Looking for something special? All right, so... um, Actually, here, hold on. Before we do anything with him, let's get this going. So we found that anvil, which was a nice find this early on. We'll smelt the clay, the iron. We'll just keep the lead in there for later. And let's give this so oh, maybe that much wood. So we'll let that cook up whilst we're dealing with this guy. All right, let's take a look at your inventory. Remember, we have we found that stove too, so we have um, you know, we have that the ten percent bartering discount that we get from it. Okay, so he's got an iron sledgehammer, which is way outside of our reach at this point. Um, let's look at his secret first. He's got a wooden bow, which we could afford. That does 21 range damage and has a velocity of 45. So that is actually a pretty damn good upgrade compared to this orange primitive bow. I think we're going to buy that. Wasteland Treasures Volume 5. Learn how to harvest brass from doors. Yeah, I mean, that'd be nice to have. I don't think we can afford that right at the moment. He's got a motorcycle. It's only 18,000 coin. You can afford that, old guy. Shotgun parts. Okay, let's look at his normal inventory. Do, 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 do. He's got a... Oh, man. A shotgun? Really? That's actually available for us to buy on day two? Hmm. I thought that stuff wasn't supposed to show up till we hit tier two, because we're at tier zero right now. 
Hmm. You know, it's a lot of money for right now, but we could potentially raise that much money if we really tried hard. I mean, yeah, a pump shotgun right now would be freaking amazing. Doesn't really have anything else that we we need. Okay, so let's go ahead. What we currently have... <clears throat> oh, I, I must have left my coin back in the base. Did I? No, we just bought the bow. Duh. Okay. All right, so let's sell that. Um, He's not going to want to buy that. We'll sell the gold nugget. We'll sell the silver nuggets. Um... I think that's all we want to sell to him, or can sell to him. All right, so we got a little bit of a bow upgrade, which is good. This will just scrap. <clears throat> and yeah, I don't think he's got anything else right now that we want. I mean, man. That would be so nice to have this early. It really would, but that's a big chunk of change. Well, let's just see how things go. Um... I mean, you know, we already have 1,200 coin, plus we already spent 300 on both, so we could we could raise that before, you know, day four. We'd have to spend all the rest of the day today and all day tomorrow raising that money. Um, so let's just kind of play, play it by ear and see how things go. Time to move on. All right, so first thing we want in here is cooking pot. Let's craft that, and then we want some arrowheads. Ah, 70, yes, very nice. That'll, that'll get us going. That will get us going. We have 40 feathers, so we can make 40 iron arrows. And uh, that, that's good. Very good. We're not going to need these anymore, so let's scrap those. We're not going to need this anymore, so let's scrap it. And everything else we want to hang on to for the moment. Um, I made... I already made the rest of the blunderbuss ammo, so that gives us 42. We're good. We, oh, we need to find some dirty water. So... There's water, dirty water right to the west. So we're going to go grab that. Uh, let's do that now while we're waiting for that water to finish finish up here. And um, I should really be carrying some flagstone with me. Oh, I was going to leave the sand here too for, for the forge. Here, let's do this. That's how many arrows we can actually make right now. Iron arrows. Okay, good. So, yeah, let's go get these filled up. Um, like I said, I really should be carrying some flagstone for our, our cheese towers. We're not quite ready to start taking the zombies on yet. Uh, we're getting close, though. I mean, get a couple more blunderbusses. And, uh... We could probably start doing that really quick. I actually have some cobblestone at the base, so let's just go grab that so we can get heading out for our quest. Zombies broke my stairs! Rude sons of bitches. Okay, so let's grab this. Um, I want this, and we're gonna have to come back here actually first because I want to make that glue. So, let's go ahead and do... no, flagstone. Um, let's do, I don't know, maybe, let's do eight of those. And I also want to make some more wood frames, too. Since we have some wood now. Yeah, I, I came into this house yesterday woefully unprepared. <laughs> we didn't have enough wood, we didn't have a stone. I did discover, though, off camera when I was just kind of cleaning some stuff up that um, if you take a bathtub apart, you get stone for that. So I, I didn't want to keep looking at that gross gut pile in there. So I took the bathtub apart and actually got some stone from it. I thought you got stone from toilets too. Maybe you do. Maybe I, the RNG just wasn't on my side at that point. Not really sure. But anyway, okay. So let's see. Do, 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 yeah, we don't need any of that now. We will use the bones to make some glue so we can make at least one more blunder bus. And we got the four pipes there. What else do we need for blunder? Uh, yeah, just the glue, pipes, and wood, so pretty damn easy to make. Let's get these down on our toolbar. Let's get this loaded. Yeah, that was, actually, that was nice to find that wooden bow, even though it's a level one, but still better than the orange primitive was by, by a long shot, in fact. Well, maybe not a long shot, but it's better. And it was pretty cheap. Did we loot this? We have not. More jars. Excellent. 
Okay, let's move out and get these jars filled up. We might as well drink all of these too while we're at it so we can get maximum jar fillage. And then we're gonna convert some of those into glue and the rest we will make clean water out of and then make some red tea. So let's just be careful. We don't wanna go get too, too careless here. We're still very vulnerable right now. Little bit better off than when we started yesterday, but still quite vulnerable. There isn't any water that's closer, huh? All right, well, yeah, let's just run down here. See what we got. Ooh, that's nice. I actually want to hang on to the nails because uh, we need them for... Uh, to make, you know, make the larger storage bins. Of course, we can make them pretty easily in the forge now, too, but... Let's wait for this guy to stop. Or, as long as he stays in a line with us. There we go. This bow is so much better than that stupid, crappy, primitive bow. Let's just upgrade this to wood. So it's a little stronger, and we'll put that there in case we need to use it again, which we probably will. More bones for glue, fat for food, and spoiled meat for crop lots. Excellent. Let's head on back. Okay. Let's plop this in here and put a little wood in here. Let's grab our bones. Now, I want to save 10 of these for clean water. And then we'll use the rest uh, to make glue. Okay, so that'll give us enough to make two blunderbusses, which was what we were after. We'll put that in there, and this too. We'll keep the... we'll put those in there. We'll keep these with us. Let's put our coin in here for now. We don't need to carry it with us. Um, I think I have a little bit of nitrate already, so we can make gunpowder as we start getting that coal. And speaking of coal, we don't need to be carrying this piece of coal around either. Oh, you know what though? I didn't make... I need to make four more pipes to make the second blunder. So we just have to wait for four glues. We're kind of hungry. Ah, uh, yeah, you know what? We should probably buy some food. I was going to do that and I forgot to. We have to go back to the trader anyway to make the, the other four pipes. So yeah, let's buy some food. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually have a total of three blunderbusses on our toolbar so we can shoot them bing, bang, boom in succession as needed. Okay, so we got those. So yeah, let's head on back, make four more pipes, buy whatever food um, Trader Hugh has in his thingamadoodle vending machine. And then we'll head out and go start doing our quest. So many things to do. Is there a chicken in here? There's a chicken in here. Can you believe that? There's a chicken in the trader. What has the world come to? We have chicken on the menu for dinner again, boys and girls. My brain was kind of thinking, sort of, you know, subconsciously thinking that the chicken was protected by the trader's, you know, invincibility, but then I got to thinking, no, that's not the way it works. Uh, all right, so let's see, what are we doing? We are, let's grab those out of there and throw that in there. We need to make four pipes. Actually, let's make five because I want to repair our current blunderbuss. And you need pipes to repair those. 
And then I think we were going to go buy food. So while we're waiting for those, let's go see what he's got. All right. We got a health bar. That's a little expensive for us right now. Doggone it, he doesn't have a single thing of food in here. I mean, the candy gives you a little bit of food, but not enough. Okay, well, we might have to go home and just make some boiled meat or something then. Or, or some grilled meat. <sighs> I mean, this would be really damn good to have. There's absolutely no doubt about it. But if we want to save up for that shotgun, we might have to hold off on this kind of thing until until we get the shotgun. That's what I'm oh, thinking. Okay, we're not gonna need that much wood in there, so let's pull some of that back out. And we'll let the rest of that continue uh, cooking up. Okay, whilst we're going back to our base, let's get uh, two of those crafting up and let's also get that repaired. And... Uh, We've got 23 more arrows. Or feathers, I'm sorry. Because we just killed that chicken. So that'll give us a nice little supply of arrows. Okay, which one of these does the most damage? They're all the same. Okay. So now we can go bang, bang, bang. With all these on our toolbar. So it's like having... It's a little better than a, than a double barrel because you can only do two shots on a double barrel if you have to reload. But if you don't kill the Zeker after the third shot, then it takes forever to continue reloading. So at that point, we have to pull the sledgehammer back out. And pray to God that we don't succumb. Oh, look, <laughs> look at that. There's a pipe right there. That's all right. We'll save it for later. Okay, so let's put um, the rest of these in here. And I think what we'll do, we've got... Oh, we can make bacon and eggs. That's right. We can do that. We, all, we also wanted to cook that up, too. We'll save this glue for something else. We'll need it later, I am sure. Okay, so let's put a little bit more wood in here. We'll cook ourselves some bacon and eggs. And that'll, that'll get us a fair ways back towards all the way done and do we have to have a cooking grill for grilled meat yes we do ah oh, shit okay here let's eat that right now and we'll get the water going and let's go make ourselves a grill <laughs> I don't want to use... Boiled water is a little better than grilled meat, but it consumes a jar. We don't have an abundance of jars yet. I mean, all we need to do is get some sand and we can make them in the forge, but... Really? You need 31 iron? And we have 30? Seriously? <laughs> Why 31? That's a weird amount. That is a weird amount. Hey, whatever it takes, though. I guess it was, uh... Fortunate that we found that pipe, eh? Okay, now we should be able to make grilled meat. Five pieces. Um. <coughs> excuse me, let's make four. And keep five more pieces of meat, because all we need is one more egg, and then we can make bacon and eggs. Uh, so we want to make four of these. That, to my dying day, that will irk me about this game. Just so stupid. It makes no sense. You know, I know, I complain about this all the time, but five pieces of meat for one cooked meat. I think the fun pimps need to go back to school and learn arithmetic or something. It's just the dumbest thing ever. We're going to keep our coin with us, actually, because we might come across another vending machine whilst we're out and about. Um... <sighs> Should I keep the jars so we can fill them up? Nah, let's worry about that later. Let's worry about that later. But we are taking this with us. I really should turn that into tea, red tea, but then I'm going to have to go pick a bunch of red flowers. Well, you know what? We'll do that later. We'll just use normal water for now. Okay, that should get us topped off for close enough. 
Um, all right. I think we're ready to go do our quest. This is going to be a bit of a trek. We've got to go... Um, a 1.1 kilometers in that direction. So... I think what I'll do, guys, is let's time-lapse this, and I'll meet you at the quest location. Here we are. Um, let's go ahead and set up a platform here so it's ready to go. All right, we did this house um, not too long ago, actually. I'm trying to remember where the loot is. I think it's in the attic. Either in the attic or it's in a back room. So let's see if we can double loot the place before we start the actual quest. Yeah, all right. So let's come this way. We need to watch out for any Ziki, Zikis walking around outside that they don't rush us while we're trying to do our thing here. All right, any Zambies in here? I think there's some hide in a closet over there. Oh, wait, I might be thinking about something different. Okay. Okay, guys, I had to actually uh, go away for a little bit in real life, uh, so we're back. All right, what we're going to do is we're just going to hit the fat loots in this place, and then I, we need to wrap up this episode, and then we'll start the next episode by going through and doing the POI. Uh, proper like so I just have to remember where the fat loots are in this place come on Ronald McDonald I don't really want to use the blunders unless we absolutely have to ooh we got a skill point hot damn what are we going to put this one into um, we need to do some mining, so probably mother load is next. Uh, I like to kind of put at least the first point in the real essential skills before we start focusing on any one given tree. So mother load is definitely one we need to do. Um, lucky looter is probably not bad. Salvage is not bad. I like to take lock picking, but we can actually honestly wait for this because I don't even bother messing with safes and stuff until we get probably to to probably tier two. Just because we get so much shit out of the saves otherwise. <laughs> chicken. What's with the chickens, man? There are so many chickens in this game now. It's just hilarious. He popped up on here. I don't know if you guys saw that on the screen, but he rewind the video if you need to. <laughs> he there for a second. He saw me. He turned around. Oh, I love it. That's funny. Okay, anyway, let's get back to this. Um, Deadeye, eventually I'll want. Demolitions, I'll, eventually I'll want. But it's really just a matter of, you know, taking what is the most important right now. We could even, um, since we don't have a working workbench, 
it wouldn't be a bad idea to get Tinkerer 2 so we can make ourselves a workbench, because we're going to need one one way or the other. Um, it's just a matter of what, you know, what to do next. Because if we do this, we're either going to have to find nerdy glasses or we're going to have to invest a total of three points. Um, one for blacksmith, one for intellect. No. Oh, shit. Really? We got to go to four to get that, huh? Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Well, let's let's do mother load for now. Because uh, we're going to, you know, we'll, we'll harvest a few more resources. And then we probably should do a sexy tea. And then we'll probably, you know, folk start putting a few points into uh, intellect so that we can get tinkerer. And once we get our workbench, you know, then, then then we'll be in good shape. Maybe we'll luck out and find, uh, you know, an actual working workbench close by. But I'm not counting on that. Not counting on it. Because uh, they're pretty rare. You know, working crafting stations that you find in the world are pretty rare in Alpha 19. Okay, this is like seriously dangerous because <clears throat> we don't have any way to block the Zeeks. So I think what we're going to do is let's just ever so quietly sneak up here. Okay, um, there's one right there too. This is dangerous. Okay, how do we want to play this? How do we want to play this? Alright, I think we got this. So we got a Zeke there. There might be something over on the other side, and then we got... A nurse Nancy there so let's deal with nurse Nancy first that was a little a little hairy for a second there what oh it's hitting those stupid boxes okay here let's do deal with Steve first <laughs> there we go Got Steve out of the way. We just get Nurse Nancy's attention. Hello, hola. Come get me. I kind of, she could potentially jump up on this and then jump up to us. I could definitely see her doing that. So let's get rid of that. We can't seem to shoot over the top of the um, the box is there, which is a little bit of a problem. Let's try it one more time. There we go. D does she not know where we are? Okay. Yo. There you go. There you go, Nurse Nancy. Okay, so she's down. Um... I don't know if there's going to be another Zeke behind there or not. So let's go ahead and... Uh, where is my... What do I do with my axe? That's right. Let's get rid of this. And then I'm going to just put that there so I can quickly jump up if we need to. Ah, look at that. Okay, here we go. Oh, 
<laughs> she jumped out right as I released the arrow. Right in the noggin. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Somebody's walking around down there. Tell you what, let's just do this temporarily. And, um, let's get our shovel out. We better make absolutely sure there's nobody else over here. I've got three blunderbusses that'll probably make short work of any normal Zeeker. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, um, yeah, let's see what we got. Oh, nice. Um, we don't... We can't put those on cowboy boots, though, so we'll hang on to those for later. Those are always good to have. Okay, got another bandage and um, a splint. Let's break open the two boxes, and then we'll do the fat loops, and then we'll wrap things up. Um, That will probably just scrap... Uh, or put in the forge, rather, for some lead. Are any of these shovels better than our current? They're all the same. This one has the most durability, so we will scrap this one and this one. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to scrap. Well, no, let's not. Let's hang on to it for now and see what we get. Okay, here we go. Here's the good stuff. Uh, oh, nice. Okay. Seven more blunderbuss and um, some leg leg armor, or not leg armor, I'm sorry, uh, boots. So which one's better? Looks like they are, again, the same. So this one has more durability. So let's modify that, and we'll put the those on, and then we'll wear these. Cowboy boots. Yeah, we'll sell the cowboy boots. Okay. Yeah, that was a nice find. That was good stuff. All, pretty much most of it anyways, uh, useful to us. What I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to just harvest up these couple things of cobble and cement. And then we're going to go back down and outside. And then I might, yeah, I'll probably put a drop chest down just because we're going to go through the whole entire house the next time. And uh, I'm going to want, uh, you know, to make sure we have enough space. So I'll do that, and then we'll start the next episode and go through the house the way it's supposed to be done. Why do I get the feeling like there's something behind here? Ha ha ha! I told you and I told you and I told Ooh, nice! Okay, perception glasses. We will wear those. Um, no, you know what? Let's keep the agilities on, because the agilities are helping with our with our bow. We're not really using any weapons in perception right now. I mean, we do have the spear, which we still haven't used yet. Um, is this bone knife better? It is just a tiny bit better. So, yeah, we'll take that bone knife. Or this bone knife. I guess we could scrap that, huh? For three bones. Okay, guys. That is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And we will pick right up where we left off uh, from this point and do the entire POI uh, in the next episode. See ya.